Welcome to Hurry Up Pinball, the show where I teach you how to work on your pinball machine. Today I will be walking you through the process of adjusting a stand-up target along with how to spot bad targets. So grab your tools and let's get going. For this tutorial, we will be using a flathead screwdriver and a target adjustment tool. For the flathead screwdriver, make sure it has a decent sized blade on the bottom. The target adjustment tool may or may not be needed depending on the condition of the target. Here is a collection of targets that were removed from my old Twilight Zone pinball machine. As you can see here, some of these targets are in pretty bad shape. This target is missing the foam pad and is pretty worn out. You can see the plastic on the target is also chewed up a little bit. I would replace this target. This target's foam pad is in good condition. The metal leafs are straight and the contacts are gapped properly. This stand-up target is in an absolutely terrible shape. The metal bracket is bent and the foam is worn out. This one should definitely be replaced. Here is a standard stand-up target. It has metal leafs that can be bent to increase or decrease the gap between the two metal contact points. This stand-up target has a pretty big gap between the two contact points. To close the gap, I'll be using my flathead screwdriver. Place your screwdriver between the back of the metal bracket and behind the middle leaf. Now rotate the top of the screwdriver blade toward the front of the target. Be sure to bend the leaf at the bottom near the sandwich. Now you can see that the gap has closed significantly. Make sure the contact points are not making contact when at rest. You want a small gap, but not too small. If you need to open the gap between the two leafs, insert the screwdriver blade between the front leaf and the middle leaf and twist the top of the screwdriver towards the back of the target. When this target was previously adjusted, it appears the middle leaf was bent in the middle as opposed to near the base. I'm going to use my target adjustment tool to try and straighten the middle leaf as much as possible. With the middle leaf relatively straight, I will now use my screwdriver to close the gap between the leafs. As you can see here, I had to make several adjustments in both directions in order to achieve the desired gap, considering the middle leaf was previously bent halfway up. While most maintenance manuals will tell you to use a target adjustment tool to gap your targets, I simply prefer using a screwdriver. That being said, I would recommend picking up a set of target adjustment tools when you get a chance. Here you can see the two targets I adjusted side by side. While I prefer to use the flathead screwdriver to gap the stand-up targets, you can only do this if there is a metal bracket for leverage at the back of the stand-up target. Here's another quick tip for older targets. Place a business card between the two contact points. Squeeze the target from both sides and slide the business card out slowly. You can see here, there's a lot of dirt and grime that was removed from the contact. Now that you know how to properly gap a target, let's move over to the pinball machine and I'll show you how to remove and adjust a switch connected to the pin. Open the coin door, remove the lockdown bar, and remove the playfield glass. Go ahead and turn on the pinball machine. Using the coin door buttons, press the menu button and use the other buttons to navigate to the switch test menu. While in switch test mode, anytime you tap a switch on the playfield, it should register on the menu. This particular target needed a lot of force in order to register a hit. This leads me to believe the gap on the switch is too big. While in switch test mode, it's a good idea to check the other switches on the playfield to see if they should be adjusted as well. Whenever I unbox a new pinball machine, the first thing I do is gap all the targets. Now go ahead and shut off the pinball machine, partially raise the playfield, and remove the pinballs. Since Total Nuclear Annihilation does not have rubber pads on the back box, I like to place a shirt or towel on the back box to prevent the apron or back box from getting scratched. When ready, fully raise the playfield. Using the top of the playfield as a reference, locate the target on the bottom of the playfield. Here is the target that needs to be adjusted. Use your magnetic nut driver to remove the two screws holding the target in place. Most screws on the bottom of the playfield can be removed with a quarter inch nut driver. I would suggest getting a magnetic nut driver in quarter inch and five sixteenths inch sizes. 
Some of the spaces are really tight and you won't be able to hold the screw with your hands during the installation or removal. Gently slide the target out of the playfield. Since the stand-up target is soldered to the wiring harness, be gentle when removing and positioning the target to work on it. Here you can see the gap between the two contact points is pretty large and that is why it takes a lot of force to register a switch hit. Using the technique I showed you earlier, use the flathead screwdriver to adjust the gap between the two contact points. Again, this process can be done with a flathead screwdriver or a target adjustment tool. Once you are satisfied with the gap, it's time to reinstall the switch. Carefully place the target back into the playfield and line it up with the screw holes. Grab the two target screws and reinstall the stand-up target. Again, you can see how the magnetic nut driver makes this process much easier. Do not completely tighten down the screws as you may need to make some last minute adjustments to the target. Line the target on the top of the playfield and tighten the screws on the bottom. Do not over tighten the screws as it will strip the wood from the holes. Lower the playfield and rest it on the support bars. Turn on the pinball machine, open the coin door, and navigate back to the switch test menu. Tap the target with the desired amount of force to see if it registers. If the target is registered on screen but won't register after multiple hits, the two contacts may be touching, so go back and adjust the gap between the two contact points. If everything looks good, completely lower the playfield, Install the pinballs, install the playfield glass and lockdown bar, and close the coin door. Go ahead and play a few test games just to make sure everything is working properly. This is Craig with Hurry Up Pinball, and I wanted to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, show your support for Hurry Up Pinball and click the subscribe button. We can also be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under Hurry Up Pinball.